Hi, I'm Nico Santos, and we're in studio with The Hollywood Reporter. Do people stop you on the street and say, Mateo? Yeah, they do. I mean, like, if it's not Mateo, it's uh, Oliver from Crazy Rich Asians. Right. But uh, it, it's weird that now it's, it's sort of transitioned into them saying my actual name, which I'm, like, grateful for because, you know, Mateo is just a character that I play, and sometimes I don't like respond to that because that's not my actual name. Right. And then they get pissed off. You're like, ugh, he was such a bitch. I'm like, that's <laughs> not my name. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think people in LA probably know yeah. actors' names more than they do other places. But but uh, you know, the power of this show is that you you probably are identified with your character. I mean I was just yes. digging through the ratings and it is the most popular uh, comedy on NBC. That's got to feel good. It feels great. I mean, like, also, we're in our fifth season. Like, I, we honestly didn't know that the show would have that kind of longevity. At least I didn't. I, I didn't know what to expect because it was the first serious regular role I've ever had. Um, it was, like, my big break, you know, so to speak. And, and I just had no um, frame of reference as to, you know, what was going to go on with the show. So the fact that we're in our fifth season, I'm just really, like, you know, blown away. Fifth season at this point in time in Hollywood is is, you know, is really like hitting the lottery, especially yeah. with with a network comedy. Yeah, absolutely. I've I've hit the lottery with Superstore in in in, in every sense of the word. Like every everybody that I work with is amazing. And I know I keep saying this in interviews, but it really is like the, the cast and the crew, they're they're all incredible. Um, the fact that we're still hanging out you know, like outside of work to this day, like going through our fifth season. I remember there was a crew member who said, uh, I think like we're filming like episode three, like, oh, you guys are getting, getting along now, but like, just wait till like season four or five, you guys will hate each other. <laughs> and you know what, uh, it's season five, it's that day hasn't come, we all still really love each other. And uh, it's been, it's been, yeah, it's been like hitting the lottery. Like I get to work with amazing directors, amazing actors, get to sort of uh, do, um, comedy that uh, is, I don't know, I, I, it, it's such a great um, high and low uh, with, with comedy because we tackle, you know, a lot of topical topics and topical topics, <laughs> topical, <laughs> topical topics, um, and uh, just get to be silly, you know, and yeah. get paid for it. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is, I mean, you mentioned it is, it, it's, a, it's a remarkable feat in television comedy that you can, Tackle topical topics. Let's just topical go with topics. it, and then it's a, it's a new word. Yeah, yeah and then in the next minute, have a punchline that hits. Uh, yeah. it sort of seems like a throwback to those Norman Lear comedies where they were they would bring up these really heavy subjects. Yeah, and then peep, you, it makes you laugh. Yeah, and and I think uh, that's what our show does really well. But I also think that it's not we don't we're not really heavy handed with it. Um, it's ne it never feels like tonight in a very special, you know, <laughs> episode of Superstore. It's just we really just sort of tackle the subject and we try to present both sides. Um, yeah. Well, let's talk about Mateo's journey. Just season five. I mean, starting off the season, yeah. uh, being detained uh, as an immigrant and then getting out and having the ankle monitor and trying to make some money under the table. And then let, just tell me what it's been like for you and what the highlights have been f been for you of this season. It's been uh, it's been kind of crazy. You know, I every season when when we end the the, the season. Um, the finale is always sort of like a cliffhanger, and we're always just like, I don't know how the writers are gonna sort of, you know, uh, work themselves out of this corner they just painted themselves in. And when season four finale, when they were like, you're gonna get detained by ICE and get taken away, I was like, oh, mm. <laughs> okay. Do I need to look for another job? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, don't worry, you're staying. But I really was just like, I don't know how, you know, what is gonna be. Uh, how they can sort of resolve the issue because it's not a simple issue. You know, you can't just sort of wave a magic wand and have Mateo work back at the store. Um, and, you know, and but that is the reality of what undocumented uh, immigrants face in this country is, uh, you know, there is no easy fix mm -hmm. for, for their situation. So uh, I think they've done a remarkable job this season of really trying to balance the humor with the reality of the situation. Um, and you know we're we're still we have a lot more episodes to film. Um, there's an upcoming episode. Uh, I think they found a sort of a clever way to sort of integrate me into the store. Um, 
you know, I'm, I'm working in the vision center right now, right. And, and but there's there's other stuff coming up uh, that is sort of like gonna put me back in the fold of Cloud9, so. Let's talk more about winning the lottery because what's so cool about your journey and, it, and looking back on how you got here was 10 years ago, you moved to LA and I, and I, yeah. I love what you wrote about uh, getting free healthcare or getting on the sliding scale system at the oh LGBT God. center yeah. because people think, oh gosh, you're on a network sitcom, you must be rich. And mm -hmm. the truth is, it wasn't that long ago that you were, you know, making use of a sliding scale at a, at a healthcare yeah. clinic. So tell me what it, what, what that journey has been like for you. It's it's been really, you know, I I've always been the type of person to sort of like, uh, I, I never look before I leap, which is like one of my best qualities, I think, but it's also one of my worst qualities because I never plan. So when I moved to LA, I, I literally had like $200 in my bank account um, and a couch to crash on. I was staying at my cousin's place. And I was kind of like, I'm just gonna give this a go. And yeah, it is, it's been a, a, a very, uh, you know, it's, it's a hustle. And I've, I've hustled since the day I got to LA. Um, I've had some sort of ups and downs, you know, I was doing like Chelsea lately, like so I was able to get into that mix right when I moved to LA, but you know, people don't realize just because you're on TV doesn't make, mean you're making money. So I was working as a host at a restaurant while I was wow. doing Chelsea lately, and then people will be like, oh my God, I love you in the show. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm like, let me show you through the table, right this way. Wow. Um, and even like when I was uh, doing Superstore, when I filmed the pilot, I was still a host at a restaurant. Wow. And I think I worked, uh, I kept my restaurant job up until like episode three, I think. I was just wasn't sure. I still like would pick up shifts in the weekends. Cause I'm like, I just, you never know. Like in wow. this town, there's no guarantees in this town, yeah. in this business. Yeah, well you drummed up some Gucci today, so you must be doing all I right. I mean, <laughs> I still have my fun. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta treat yourself. You have to treat yourself and yeah. you deserve it. And, yeah. and I think that's also just a fascinating story about the life of an actor because, you know, just this week there were the headlines about the actor from Aladdin, you know, Masood, who recently said that he hadn't been out on, a, on an audition since Aladdin had come out and that's a movie that made a billion dollars at the box office. So, it ta <laughs> you know, it's not only about the, the adversity that actors of color face, but also just actors in general. Can you tell yes. me about your journey? I mean, even after, uh, after Queens of Rich Asians, I mean, like, I, I, ha I had auditions after, after the movie and, and I never booked any of those wow. auditions that I, that I went on. Um, and so, I mean, that's always in the back of your head, like, am I, am I gonna work again? And, you know, I ended up doing a play uh, in between the seasons right after Crazy Rich Asians, I, I did a play off Broadway, so I, I booked that job at the last minute, but I was, mm. trust me, I was sweating it. I, I booked that job, we were wrapping up the final week of, uh, of shooting for the finale of, of season four, and I was like, we're going to hiatus, you know, we're on a three month break, I've been on all these auditions, I still haven't booked like wow. a guest star in a TV or, or another movie part, and I was like, you know, but I, I was just in this huge movie and I was like, oh my God, like this town is rough. It's tough. Yeah, and you know, thankfully I ended up doing uh, an amazing project off Broadway, but you know, I certainly understand where, where uh, that actor was coming from because it is, it is a constant fear and worry for all of us. And what were, were any of those auditions parts you really desperately wanted? Uh, I assume you want all the parts, right? Yeah. But, I mean, doesn't everyone, yes. just to, to work, because that's what you do for a living, but, but yeah, there was were, there one there were, couple, there were a couple of like, you know, bigger, big movies um, that I was like, ah, oh, this could be a really great next stepping stone for my career if I, if I booked this part, but you know, ultimately I didn't, I didn't uh, go further in the casting process. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just, you never know what, it's, it's, it's interesting because like we were just, we had just cast, um, uh, this part of Eric uh, on our show, who mm. is America Ferrera's brother mm. in the show, and I had never been privy to the casting process before up until then because he's, you know, my new love interest in the show, um, and sort of like seeing the discussion that happens uh, with trying to pick the actors it was giving me such anxiety <laughs> because it was really just like the decision that we made of going with with this particular actor was it was really just nitpicky. Uh, because there are a lot of talented people in this town, mm. and and the conversations that had to happen, why we chose 
this particular actor. And, and I'm just like, oh my God, these are the type of conversations that you know, directors and casting, casting directors and producers were having when you know, they were casting me and, and, yeah. and, 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 and my parts. And I'm just like, it was so anxiety. <laughs> just, you know, I was like tearing my hair out. Wow, and it must make yeah. you just so much more grateful for where absolutely. you are now. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, yeah. let's talk about Crazy Rich Asians. You brought it up, you know, uh, people are still pining for part <laughs> two. Uh, yes. So w what have you heard? What's, the, what's, the cr what's on the Crazy Rich Asians WhatsApp chain right now? All, all I know is I think, I mean, everybody's, we're, we're trying to film the, the next one. Yeah. I know, and they've written it. Um, hopefully, maybe this summer we'll 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 film it. I yeah. don't know. Like everything's sort of up in the air, as you know, these things change by the minute. Yeah. So last I heard that we may be you know uh, filming this summer, but again, I haven't confirmed that yet. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of just waiting for details. Yeah. But I mean, I know people are are waiting. I mean, trust me, we're we're all waiting because we would love nothing more to get back together and. And, and work together again. We had so much fun for the first time. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming by. It's always such a joy to see you. Thank and you. Uh, everyone else, you can see him every Thursday night on NBC on Superstore. And we'll see you next time.